should I get? How, what if I change my mind? How can I hide it from my mom? These are some things that go through my mind when I'm thinking of getting a tattoo. How many of you guys here today have tattoos? Have ever thought about getting a tattoo? Or know someone who has a tattoo? Seems like a couple of us, maybe a lot of us. <laughs> not only do tattoos, um, not only are tattoos popular with the young, like maybe 20 through 29 year olds, but also through teenagers and high school students. According to Datadog, an article from American Demographic, Demographic published in September 2000, a 1994 study from McConnell and Armstrong's Tattooing in Adolescence polled 642 adolescents in six Texas high schools, in which 16.4% of these teens already had tattoos and 33% of the remaining unhealed were still interested in tattooing, in tattooing. So as we can see, tattoos are thought about by everyday, by everyday people, and being done within different age groups, not only like older adults, but also young adults. Tattoos are a lifelong choice, which can provide an individual with a years of gratification, as long as the decision was carefully thought over. That is why in this speech, I will provide you with some history of tattoos, the knowledge of frequently asked questions, and the decision about, make, about getting a, a tattoo, the importance of the decision. This brings me to my main point, my main point number one. Tattoos, histories, and the rise of popularity. According to Dermatology Nursing Magazine, tattooing has been documented in every culture and people have had indelible markings applied to their bodies for thousands of years. In a New York Times article, How Tattoos Set People Apart and Pull Them Together, published in 2003, it stated that the word tattoo comes from the Polynesian word tattoo. But also, in the book Decorate, Body Decorations, published in 1998, they state that according to the Polynesian mythology, mythology humans learned that tattooing from gods and the costly patterns were visible signs of prosperity and conferred prestige. Not only were tattooing popular in the old days, in like probably the BC, but in a sketch, in the sketchbook, a book published in 2003, they stated that after tattooing was introduced to the Western world by the sailors, it began to become popular in circus folks, and then after World War II, among bikers and juvenile delinquents. And now as we see, as it, we progress in time, it's becoming more popular with younger adults, older adults, middle adults, and also well, teenagers, as we can see in high schools. Now this brings me to my second main point. Frequently asked questions. I, I stayed on the, at the <coughs> question that does tattooing hurt? People always tend to ask that when they're about to get a tattoo because you know the gun and everything that comes with make, getting a tattoo. According to the facts.org, an online organization, typic, a typical tattoo gun uses between one and five larger needles for the outline and between five and nine smaller needles for the color or the shading. So if your skin is, can't handle the pain, then it might not hurt. If your skin can handle the pain, it might not hurt. But if it can't handle the pain, then it is most likely, yes, it can hurt. In uh, the Dermatology Nursing Magazine, published October 2002, they stated that tattooing is a procedure that involves an intrusion on a person's body as the studio artist uses an electrically powered, vertically vibrating instrument to inject tattoo pigments 50 to 3,000 times per minute, up to or into the dermis. So that's a lot of power going into your body or being like punctured into your body. 
So I would recommend that if you can take the pain, then you should go for it and do it. But if you can't, either go get, <laughs> I'm not recommending this, but go drunk or something. Because I've been told that if you go drunk, you can't really feel it as much. <laughs> And finally, bringing this to my main point three, the importance of thinking it through. The importance of thinking of the decision of getting a tattoo. According to an article in, from the New York Times, one popular reason why people get tattoos is to remember a family relative who passed away or to remember an event that has significance over you. Um, and a permanent impact on a person's life. Such as Danny Bayer, who is a firefighter who had a tattoo design created to commem commemorate his comrades who died September 11. In the Seattle Times, an article that was published August 16, 2005, uh, by the name of Catman's Transformation raises concerns over extreme surgery, stated that another common reason for tattooing may be to express individuality and uniqueness like that of the cat man who is slowly tattooing and altering nearly every part of his body to look more like a human cat. And this is my PowerPoint. Different tattoos have different symboli symbolisms for different individuals. As you saw when I did my mini speech, these people, you can tell they're different symbolizes. They're tattooing of their culture, what's in their culture. There's the cat man. He wants to be a cat, so he's tattooing his face like a cat, getting his teeth. And I don't know about the piercings, but they might be the whiskers, I take it. <laughs> and then a few tattoo meanings. Ange the tattoo of an angel is means protection, guardian, keepers of dreams. A tattoo of a butterfly is spirituality and morality, spiritual and morality, temporary element of life temporary element of life. And the tattoo of a cross is sacrifice, love, and salvation. The clover, of course, is good love. The eye is self-protection. A rose is fertility. Sword represents justice, honor, and energy. Snake is a temptation, knowledge, and wisdom. And the skull, courage, or death. Fashion, along with pop culture, are the prevailing reasons behind the present popularity of body art. Here are some, um, not artists, but famous people that have tattoos. The Rock, Eminem, Tyson, and Tom Girl. <coughs> Angelina Jolie, Kat Von D, she's very popular. She has her own tattoo shop, ink. In conclusion, I'm going to review and summarize what I've just started. Tattoos have been around for a pretty long time in the Polynesian methodology. The most frequently asked questions when getting a tattoo. And finally, we discuss some reasons why you should think it through. Thank you. I hope I informed you very well on tattoos. And thank you very much.